Well, hello there, and welcome to my first ever video on this channel. And I hope you guys are doing well. Let's talk about what we have with us here today. This happens to be the Quadro FX 4600, and it was released back in 2007. So yeah, pretty old, 14 years to be precise. And back then, if you were a gamer, you must have heard about, or maybe some of you might even have owned the 8800 GTX. So this quarter happens to be just that, with slightly lower memory and core clocks. And it being a workstation video card, it obviously has support for that. If you check the specs of this card, uh, it's quite interesting. It looks like it's a hybrid between the 640 megabyte 8800 GTS and the 8800 GTX. And that got me thinking why people say that you can't game on a Quadro, given that both the Quadro and GeForce use the same processing chip, the G80, and they both have support for DirectX. So let's see if it can or it can't game. But before that, if you're wondering what's up with that shroud, why is it black? Well, long story short, given that how old this card is, when it came it was covered in dust and scratches and dents and all that crap. Which by the way, I tried cleaning but it was still dirty. <laughs> so I thought I might as well just paint it black and be done with it.
So yeah, as you guys can see that the Quadro can definitely game and I think it did a pretty good job actually. And given that the Quadro is clocked slightly lower than the GTX, I did overclock the Quadro to match the stock frequencies of the 8800 GTX. Now I don't have an 8800 GTX to do a side by side comparison between the two cards, but going by some older statistics and countless videos online, I think it's pretty safe to say that the Quadro once overclocked. The performance is pretty much identical to the 8800 GTX. And at stock speed, I think the Quadro is like 2 or 3 percent slower than the 8800 GTX, which in terms of FPS is like 5 or 6 FPS slower, and that's it. Now, under normal circumstances, I would not recommend a Quadro over GeForce, simply because of the fact that the Quadro will probably cost 2 or maybe even 3 times more than its GeForce counterpart. But let's say you're into older games like me, or maybe you want to build a Windows XP gaming machine, then yeah, I don't see a problem with the Quadro, given that the performance is pretty much identical to the 8800 GTX. And also the Quadro consumes a little less power than the 8800 GTX. So if you guys can find a good deal on the Quadro FX4600, then maybe you guys can give it a try. So that's it for today, guys. If you like the video, please leave a like below. If you happen to have this card or maybe the 8800 GTX, leave a comment below and let us know. Until then, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.